What's up, YouTube? Welcome to another video on the channel, because you know I love buggies. But what we're gonna do here is we're gonna give these two a good compare and see which one's gonna give you more bang for your buck. So we have the Team Associated Reflex 14B. This is the older version of that. There are There is a new version of this on the market. And then we have uh, one of Arma's latest um, offerings in the Typhon Grom. So the reason why I wanted to get these two out is because believe it or not, even though this is supposed to be 14 scale and this is 18th scale, they're pretty much exactly the same size, length and width. So I felt like this would be a good comparison for these two cars. But as far as size goes, that's really where this stops at. And the reason why I say that is because this here, the Grom, the Typhon Grom, I'm gonna do my best to not say Granite Grom, <laughs> but the Typhon Grom is $139. And it includes everything. Your batteries, your transmitter, your charger for your battery, and four AA batteries. Whereas, the team associated, you can get one without the battery and charger for 219 right now. But if you want the battery and charger, it is 259 right now on A main. So, and that still doesn't include double A batteries. So you can get this practically ready to go, whereas this is fully ready to go. But is the price difference really that big of a deal? This, although it runs 2S, is brushed. This runs 2S, but is brushless. Besides that, some of the other things that are different on this is with the Grom, and I'll take the body off this Grom. Clipless body, by the way. Whereas this is not clipless, this has two body clips. You gotta pull out, and it's a tight squeeze in there, but then the body comes off. Still not bad, but it is what it is. So both of these have plastic shocks. They both have uh, dog bones in the rear and CVD in the front. With the Team Associated, you've got metal turnbuckles, so you can have more adjustments with this. Something that might not be a big deal for those who are new to RC cars, um, but it does have more upgraded parts in here. And the biggest thing that I would say is the difference besides the brushless system in here, it also has a center diff in it. So having that center diff will make this perform a little bit better. But is it again worth the extra $120 that you would spend between difference between the two? That's what we're gonna find out. First thing we're gonna do is we're gonna do a speed run on both of them. Now, again, I've already done a speed run on this, but you know what? For the sake of the video and for those who don't wanna go and look at the other video, I'll do a speed run again on it so you can get an idea of this. And that's gonna be showing up right now. I've already done a speed run on this, but I figured I'd go ahead and do another one real quick anyways. So you guys can get a comparison in the same video. Come back. Now in that video, I did get 32. So let's see if that will match up with this. Yep, 32 again. So 32, I mean, that's the same thing I got when I when I first did the speed run. And if you wanna see that video, I'll put a link to that in the description up here so you guys can get a, another viewpoint of that. And then you can also see the pretty epic bash that I had with it. So let me go ahead and get the uh, typing out now. Definitely do not expect 32. It's not bad though for being brushed. It's 
Bring it back. All right, let's see what we got. Twenty-four. So eight mile per hour difference out the box. Right, so now that the speed run is done, as you can see, not a big shocker. The team associated is faster by about eight miles per hour, but it is brushless. So there is going to be some sort of difference, absolutely between the two. Um, but now, right, we're also here to see how it will perform handling wise, and maybe even get a couple of jumps in. So. What I'm gonna do is go ahead and get each one of these set up. And we're gonna have a little fun now, guys, and let you guys be the judge of what you see. So give me a moment, I'll be right back. Handles good out here, man, for sure. It's bumpy, but that's part of the terrain that I'm in, but you can see it. It handles getting around corners, man, and that's, that's Team Associated's thing anyway. Race-inspired buggies, right? So. Look at the thing slide around. Ah, <laughs> I love it. <laughs> Front flip. Oh man, we get that front flip in pretty good. Almost. <laughs> So fun times with the Reflex 14B. Obviously that was little small jumps and stuff like that, but I do have a whole nother video where I was actually sending this thing pretty good. So I know what this is capable of. Let's go ahead and find out what the Typhon can actually hold up to though. All right. So I will say this Typhon doesn't pull around the corners on this, like the uh, team associated does, but that's expected, but still not bad at all guys. Um, and part of that could just be the product of the tires too. Like obviously they both bounce around. They're small, so that's expected. I do think the tires on the Team Associated have uh, better grip, that's for sure. But the Team Associated also has more power to pull itself out of a corner too, which is pretty cool. Ah. <laughs> ah. <laughs> Nope. Woo! Yeah. There it is. Nice little front flip. Look at that. Dude. Not bad, man. Wow. Almost. Man, I gotta tell you, 
I'm impressed. It can hold its own, man. It really can. It's a fun little ripper. Oh. The team associated handles better. But in no way is this bad. Oh. I'm digging this thing, man. A lot. The Typhon Grom is dope. It doesn't have to be brushless for everybody. I'm having a good time with it just doing this. I'm interested to see what this tire wear is gonna look like when I'm done. Matter of fact, let's look at it real quick. Yeah, not terrible, not bad. Not bad at all. I'll take it. But you could absolutely leave it like this. Will I leave it like this? Probably not, but that's me. But for a kid or something, you could absolutely leave this with this and not leave it like this. And I don't see why they wouldn't have fun. It's just a fun car. Absolutely impressed with this little thing. Not gonna lie. I like it. <laughs> got some rocks in there um but let me go ahead and wrap this video up guys so quick final thoughts because my gopro is about to die obviously i love them both i am very impressed with this type while the re reflex handles better there's a couple of different reasons why i feel like it could be better it could be the tires it could be the center diff you know and it does have a little bit more power to pull itself out of turns and stuff like that but for $139, ready to run, man. You can't go wrong with this. You really, really cannot go wrong with the Typhon. Really, guys? It's up to you. Um, which one do you guys think is the better value? If you're gonna get into the mini world of, of buggies, it's kind of hard for me to say no to this. You know, again, it would be nice that it was brushless, but I got plans. For that so that'll be in a video coming up very soon going into the grom here hope you guys have enjoyed it stick around give it a like give me a subscribe i'll catch you guys on the next video peace